Hey, how's it going guys? Uh, just a quick video about the Pixel 8 <clears throat> brightness. Um, that's probably like the most uh, big upgrade coming from the regular pixels and stuff. Uh, I would say like the brightness is like probably the top tier. It's, it's on the same level as Samsung, which is good because uh, usually Pixel phones are behind Samsung, I think, when it comes to everything besides the camera and software. I still give the edge to the Sam to Samsung, the Galaxy S line with their with their design. I like it. Especially with their phones are matte black and matte black, which I love. That's my go-to phone, right? My go-to color. Um, <clears throat> I was gonna say um, the brightness, according to this, uh, it says sixteen, fourteen hundred on the Pixel Eight. I don't know in the past is probably half of that or less, which is which is terrible. And that's one thing I remember because back then when I had a Pixel phone, I switched between the Pixel and the Pixel and the Galaxy S S line. <clears throat> I prefer the brightness on the Samsung phones. It's just the Pixel phones can't even even at the max brightness. It's still very dim in direct sunlight. And sunlight, mind you, I'm not. It's not in the middle of the summer. It just I can't see it during a sunny day, unfortunately. But right now the Pixel 8 changes that, which is nice. Uh, Google's really pushing uh, was pushing the envelope when it comes to certain features, and the brightness is one of them. Of course, the brightness is does have some um, does have some. Uh, caveats, of course, uh, you can't manually s increase the brightness to that level for uh, to that 1400. Um, it has to be under certain conditions. If you're in bright sunlight, if you flash a bright sunlight over the uh, sensor, it will, it will reach the maximum. But even if it, you send it manual, it's pretty, br pretty bright, so which is good. Um, like I said, um, I prefer Samsung because of the, uh, the brightness, um, <clears throat> but at the same time, um, I actually keep the Samsung phones, they're, br they're bright phones to begin with, but I noticed that even at 50% mark right here, it's still a little dim compared to the Ga Galaxy S22 at 50%. It's just like, maybe maybe the Samsung calibrates the nits at a different level. So for instance, 50% is probably like 300 nits versus 50% of Samsung is probably like 350, 400 nits. So I don't wanna think too much about it, but if you do man manual mode, um, I think Samsung does have the leg up right there if you set it manually set. Uh, right now, I, I'm doing adaptive screen, which is nice, which I never use on a phone because on Samsung, it, I just like it at 50% consistently throughout the whole day and then manual adjustment at night and so forth because it's too bright. But yeah, that's what I have to say. Uh, Google is definitely killing it uh, with the Pixel 8 phone, with the Pixel 8 with the brightness, definitely usable. So I can't imagine using this phone. I, I can probably use this phone during a bright sunny day on a beach or something. Peace.